Most of the water that you see flowing here through the Rio Grande got its start many miles away, way up in the mountains. It's the water that feeds our farms, our ranches, and eventually fills our water bottles. It is a wake up call. That's the headline about this winter's dire snowpack and not just because it's an inconvenience if you're a skier or a snowboarder. It was like skiing in the spring. There was hardly any snow and it was it was just all melting. And it was really slippery. But we all rely on that snow in the mountains to fill our rivers and streams. The water from that snow feeds our farms. Now I'm kind of on the other side sitting behind a computer screen and trying to figure out what's going to happen to all those folks that I worked um, closely with. Nels Biarki is a a snowpack researcher at UNM who's worked on farms around the Albuquerque metro. He knows how critical snowpack is for these farms, which is why knowing that the snowmelt forecasts have been off for many years is inspiring him to come up with a better way to predict it. Temperature and precip, all of these things as they they behave differently. It's important to know how that happens because it's likely this isn't the first time we'll have a winter like this. This is the sort of winter that we need to be able to plan for and manage to get through. We can add something meaningful to the Streamflow forecast community. Bjarki and his team have come up with what they hope is a better way to forecast the water that flows from the mountains into our rivers and streams. And they're hoping also that that helps us cope with the possibility of more snowless winters in the future. Reporting from the Rio Grande, Byron Morton, KOT Action 7 News.